Yo guys, what's up? It's Ryan here from Tower Reviews, and today I'm going to be unboxing the new iPod Touch 5th generation. Just recently picked it up from Best Buy. It is the 32GB, as you can see there. That's the lowest model. It comes in 32GB for $299 and 64 for $399. So, right off the bat, it's a pretty pricey starting point there for um, these new iPod Touches as... You all know you can get an 8GB Nexus 7 for $199, and that is probably going to go down in the near future. So without further ado, let's stop talking about all that other boring stuff and open up the brand new iPod Touch. So we've got, looks like a tab on the top. Alright, so I got that one off. And that looks like it's about all you need to do. There's a hinge on the bottom. And there you go. So I have the sort of yellow greenish color. These it comes in five colors now. They're kind of uh, weird, to say the least. I don't I don't know. They're not like true colors. They all seem to be sort of faded. But they're definitely very stylish. And uh, I kind of like this color here. It sort of looks gold. It also comes in black, white, blue, and red. And then there's also the product red. So. Let's see how this looks once we get it out of here. Alright, so once you take the screen cover off, that releases the iPod Touch from its casing. Almost dropped it there. Alright, so it's already turning on. I guess I accidentally pressed the button, but right off the bat, it definitely feels very light. Same trend we had from the old iPhones to the new iPhone 5. Uh, definitely dropped in weight. And it feels very nice. I'm so glad to see that chrome backing gone from the new iPod. Definitely not going to scratch this right away. Definitely take a longer time. And also we have the Wi-Fi antenna, which was not apparent on the iPod Touch 4th generation, but it was on all the previous generations. So that's kind of weird. I'm wondering why they did that when they don't do it on their iPhone or anything. So other than that, we've got the new 5 megapixel eyesight camera with flash which is very nice flash is definitely appreciated and we've got the loop button which you push it in and it pops out and other than that you got the 4 inch screen and the front facing camera right there not much has changed other than that so let's go inside the packaging here and see what else we got alright so it says hello we got some literature in here teaches you how to use stuff in case you've never had an Apple product before. Inside here we've got the new lightning cable for power and data transfer. We've got the Apple EarPods, but it doesn't come in the same case that the iPhone 5 has, which is odd. Um, it's just sort of a cardboard case here. And we've got the new loop which goes right on the back here uh, and serves as a lanyard. So yeah, we'll look at that a little bit later, but that about sums up the unboxing. Let's get this set up first and show you around a bit. Alright, so the new iPod is set up and we are onto the home screen, which looks exactly like the iPhone 5 when I first turned it on. and I happen to have the iPhone 5 right here, so we can just do a quick comparison. Um, they both look very similar. I mean, there used to be a difference between the display on the iPod Touch 4 and the iPhone 4 slash 4S, but it looks like they're almost exactly the same. The back is very reminiscent of the iPhone 5 as well. Look at it like this. They're obviously both made out of similar materials, uh, that sort of matte texture that you got on almost every Apple product now. But yeah, from a dimension standpoint, they're about they're obviously the same in length and width or in length and height, but uh from a thickness standpoint, it may not look like a big difference, but it the iPod touch just feels like there's almost nothing in your hand. It's so light and so thin. Definitely very impressed so far with the iPod touch. I will be back with a review in a little bit. Um definitely a lot more content coming with the iPod touch. So thanks for watching the unboxing.